If we took apart and sold this place, bet we'd get a year of food out of it.
That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. To keep me quiet. But if you didn't know that, I'm guessing they didn't send you. The effort they put into killing their own people. They ought to redirect that toward, I don't know, actually helping out once in a while. I always assumed they would put a bullet in my head one of these days. I don't know anyone named Hagen. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. You found my lab? Oh no. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can write me up in your report. It hardly matters. I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So, the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believed that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. There are other teams. We didn't want to experiment on human test subjects, so we used the only resources we had. Each other. I'm desperate. I have already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. Board cover-ups? Vessels disappearing into the Aether? Sounds like the work of aliens to me. That ain't a shock. Board folks will lie to their own mothers if it preserves their paychecks. The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. I'd prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nuclein. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. I don't understand a word she said, but I don't like her tone one bit. Fuck that. People are people, and ought to stay the way they were born. They start trying to tinker with my blood, I'll bury them. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. You came to kill me. I assume that's still on the table. Please don't. If I die, 
there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing, and will be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. I... Look, cold-blooded murder ain't easy on my spirits. But this... All this research, all these experiments... It's wrong. It's all void damn wrong. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. You know how I feel, boss. If you're a cog in the corporate apparatus, your face is pretty much fair game. That's my motto. Everything I did was for the good of the colony. Consider that. The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? If working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready to work together. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project. Coats make me nervous. Experiments always go wrong. Always. And then we got flying raptodons or some other nightmare. <laughs> 